I'm a gender affirming voice teacher, and here are three things I would not do in my trans voice practice. First thing is to set unreasonable goals. I think a lot of students that start out don't realize just how long this can take. And it's really important to be patient with yourself and to be very kind and compassionate towards yourself. So yes, you're gonna see a little bit of changes in the first couple of months, but really like the major change happens from year to year. So at the end of year one and the end of year two, you're gonna go back and look at the beginning where you started and be completely amazed with how far you've come. It's really hard to see the changes because we're a little too close to ourselves. So that's why it's really important to not set unreasonable goals. The second thing that I would not do is never take breaks. A lot of really important improvements happen when we're sleeping and happen when we're taking breaks from our practice. So it's a, it's good to practice as often as you can and certainly regular practice at regular intervals will get you the best outcome rather than like practicing really hard once a week. It's better to practice like five days a week for a short period of time. But if you never take a break, you never get the chance to give your brain some rest so that it can forge new neural connections. This happens all the time in not just trans voice practice, but also any kind of music practice where you work on something over and over again, and then you find that you just can't do it. And so you give up and then like you stop practicing. And then a month later, suddenly you can do the thing. And it was the rest that forged those connections. So remember, rest is an important part of your trans voice practice. The third thing I would not do is avoid recording progress examples. So I know voice dysphoria is really distressing and it can be tempting to just never listen to yourself on recording. I mean, people who don't have voice dysphoria don't like to listen to themselves on recording, but having those examples of your progress will really show you just how far you're coming. So I don't recommend recording yourself every day, especially if you're not into it, but record yourself at the beginning and then maybe in a month and then maybe in three months, you know, something at regular intervals so that you can go back and, and see just how far you've come. And I'm going to add a little bonus here, but something I would not do is not celebrate the improvements because we only get these small <laughs> marks of improvement as we go through our practice. So it's so important to pat yourself on the back and to say, I did an amazing job. Even if you don't think that you're there yet, you have to celebrate as you go. So those are three plus things that I would not do in my trans voice practice. I hope this helped.